Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is there? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. A company? Company is nothing. We can we can meet them out in the field. Problem is an ambush. Well, can we? I don't know. I. What's the garrison of this castle? Okay, game saved. Yes, let's go. Let's get out. Uh, do I have better clothing? I don't have better clothing, do I? Well, there we go. I don't. Oh, boy. Nobody helps me out here. Oh, hi. Excuse me, sir. I... Oh, I'm fully rested, which is nice. Hi! There's a company outside! There's war going on! I want everybody up! Also, don't know where I'm going. My god, it's dark. This is not the exit, is it? I apologize for getting you all up. Hi. Do you, can you please lead me to the exit? Oh, you're the guy that... What are you that... up to here? Get oh, out of I... here or I'll call the guards on you. I'm sorry. This, seriously, this is really dark. I can't, if I can't see anything, you can't. I think that, that level is unloaded. This, the, yeah. That sounded like... Like what? What did it sound like? Okay, let's get moving. Because I don't want to be caught staring into a chamber. Into a, a woman in a night's... Oh, I need to go to the battlements. Okay. Okay. Is he loading a... No. I need to talk to... Sir Robert. Where is he? It's guards. Hey. Oh, they talk? It's just a normal guard. Good health to you. Huh. Do you know what's happening? Sigismund, who else? That bastard conquered Skullitz and now he's come to take Talmberg. Yeah. I figured. But this is the way. Hi. It's more guards. It's raining. Well, this is this is a good time to take a, car, a castle by storm. I would say. the worst, but don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. Yeah. Hi. Excuse hey, me. You men down there, tell the people outside the walls to prepare be for attack quickly. Do you understand? Do you see them? Because I don't see them. I guess with the torches, you should not have torches. It's, it's called torch blindness. You can't see. Can't see far away because there's just a torch right next to you. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalots. Well, maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scalots to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure night raids are much more effective against the castle than daytime. Uh, but of course that... Oh yeah, we're, we're sending a sortie. Where's that them? Oh! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! 
Who else, Robert? Sir Antic. What a relief. Is his what? lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. Oh, do you he get it? He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Yeah. Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? Oh. I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I also have your sword. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! Huh. I'm sorry about your father. But getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! That was weird. For a moment there, I thought the people behind him were actually um, Sigismund's uh, people in disguise, and they had taken the castle and sent this guy ahead as a decoy to, to get into this castle. Man, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice, or slacking off, Aww. I'll personally break every bone in his body. Oh, God damn it. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people, now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled, and report everything to me at once. Understood? Nobody says anything? You guys are terrible. You need to drill these people better. Yeah, I, I, I did not expect them to have fled the castle, because de uh, defending a castle against the siege in a situation like that I mean, they. why would they do that? Realistically speaking, that makes no sense. Unless, of course, there's mitigating, uh, like, things and factors. Because the, the, a castle like that, it, you wouldn't be able to take it without uh, siege equipment. Um, and they would be able to build siege equipment, but they'd still need, like, at least a full day of being there. And they had sent a messenger, um, which, of course, doesn't mean... Uh, doesn't mean that they would get help, but they still had people, and the enemy weren't that strong. It wasn't a, f I mean, it was a full army to take on a city, but not on a, gar a garrison castle. I mean, he had a moat. He had, how would they? Because hmm. they would, they'd be able to extend a, a siege, I think. Right? Hmm. Anyway. What is it you need? 
I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Yes, why'd I'll you help. ask that? I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. And make sure you don't repeat the same line twice, because that was weird. <laughs> oh, but okay, so I need to keep watch on the battlements, which is going to be all sort of amazing. Uh, because I can, well, I can, I can, I can bring, uh, wait a minute, I can just, where am I supposed to go? I can bring the, the gamma a little bit higher for you. Uh, activity giver. What? We have that? Sure. Uh, Taum Burger. Yeah, not burger. That's, that's good. Uh, oh, let's also look at our journal here. So, keep watching the battlements. Sir Robert ordered me to help or to help keep watch on the battlements. Didn't want to leave anything to chance. He posted extra guards on the battlements in order to join them. Okay, well, I'm joining them. Can't really see very well. I need to have normal mobility here for, uh, you know, for, like, hanging over the ledge just to th see things. But what is the mission supposed to be? Is the rain abating? Oh, okay. It's just a CPU. Fine. We can see the, the star. Can we see the real stars? I think... Mm, maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Right there. You recognize that? Hmm. Well, I think we did our job there. Looking at the stars. <laughs> Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Thank you. I, I mean, I, oh, hi. You guys are also not doing... Hi. Gee wait until morning. Uh, if you... Oh, I can press T for waiting. That's good. Lean against the wall and wait until morning. Let me just look a little bit at the stars. I was having a fun time. I think the clouds moved in and now we don't have stars anymore. Yeah. Or maybe we have over that way. I don't know how the weather uh, is planned, but we, you might have not been able to see the, the stars now that I think about it. Uh, it was the Major Bear or something? I'm not really sure how. Mer Major Ursa? I, I don't know how they were called in English. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm just gonna hang around over here uh, wait for the game to process all the information it has to process and, uh, and just have a quiet waiting until the morning thing it's not a very good line of sight actually we don't have very good line of sight from here anyway I kinda wanted to look that way oh there it is look at that Okay, a little bit of a thing but there we go it's that's, that's like a peaceful time and we can wait until Morning and uh, where? When is that morning? I guess seven. Can I just actually? No, I can't. Well, seven and a half. That should be fine. Although this is probably. Oh, okay. my mouse. Lovely. Uh, yeah, that's probably what morning is. Huh. Ah. Well, let's cancel. Let's go. Let's go. What? Go, go. Oh, I do. I'm not equipped. I'm not in a private area. Shut up. Oh, they're going out the gates? What's going on? Are they coming? What the hell? What is going on? I didn't see that. I didn't see anything. I'm so... Oblivious is the word. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah. See how the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. Are they going to parlay now? I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. That makes sense. They might have just destroyed Skalids for, um... Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. So that we trust you let the attack of Scarlet and kill my parents. Don't be 
you an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tamburg and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. What a boss. What a boss. And that is, oh my god, that is, is that's not just a front line, is there? There's at least on the front line, there's at least a thousand ninety. Uh, the horse, yeah, knights. My fear was that this guy was just rampaging through the countryside, of course. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh my god. I did, oh, seriously, I, I, hmm. They do it, they did a very, very good job. Very good job at, at my just Lord, pulling. You have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, okay. I see. Did you see that? Did you... It's not the first hint either, I just didn't... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just the t I don't know how long the game takes, man, but you're going down. I'm pretty sure. Unless it's one of those games where you would die at the end. Which is... It would be interesting. But, um, yeah, this guy, not this guy, this guy over here, sir, he's just, he's got the, the tongue of, of silver. He was, he's, he was just, he's very, very good. Um, but yeah, so I think the wall, uh, uh, what I said before, the game is just loading, don't worry. Uh, what I said before that, uh, Sir Roderick, or Sir Rodrig, I don't know what are you doing, sir, down there. I apologize for the AI pathing. It's, oh, yeah, there we go. Um, but Sir Roderick, he, I noticed that he acted very, uh, familiar with, uh, with the boss of this place. The game is just loading, don't worry. Uh, he acted very familiar, and I figured that they were either, like, uh, either brothers or, or, uh, sort of, they're, they're very, they are very close. And uh, you, you even saw some, you even saw when Sir Roderick just sort of, um, just sort of talked, uh, you know, out of time, out of place, and 
the boss, I don't remember his name, v Ven Vendrick? I don't remember his name. But he um, he just went like, oh, sh not right now, not now. Uh, so there's definitely a very close, uh, very close relationship there, and uh, it, the way he acted towards his wife, though, is the, 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 it hints at not being a situation of him being in a place of power, but rather of actually having history, of them having history, basically, of either having been in a, in a war or just working close together all of their life. Now, you join that with uh, his young, fair wife. Fair would be the word to use, I suppose. Uh, beautiful is okay. Uh, but you join that and her complaining that he's a... What did she call him? Uh, not flaccid. It was, she didn't call it flaccid. She called him something to the same extent. And then I think we can see what's going on in here. Uh, but we are alive, and everybody's talking, and I'm not paying attention. That's what foreign soldiers do, and worse. Oh boy. They do nothing of the sort. Where did you hear that nonsense? Vilma heard the guards on watch talking about it. Going to attack us, never mind foreign soldiers. Sigismund's moved on, and we've got nothing to worry about. He has moved on, but he will come back. here at the castle. He will probably come back. Can I talk to the villagers? don't believe a word Vilma says. Well... Apparently, if it says I can talk, then I can talk. She's smart. Good health to you. She's smart. I'm not gonna fool her. Uh, what do you think about Sigismund withdrawing? It was a stroke of good luck. I know everyone says how clever Sir Divish is and all that, Divish. but it was a dangerous situation. That Sigismund is awful, unpredictable. He abducts the king. Raids towns, brings foreign mercenaries into the heart of our country. God alone knows what he'll get up to next. Yep. Is there someone here who trades in goods? Votover is your man. He's the local dealer. A skinny fellow. I saw him by the granary. He'll buy anything that has any value, and he'd sell you his own granny. If he hadn't already granny. sold her long since. No. Oh, makes sense. I don't want his granny, but I will take, I will take uh, the rest of the stuff. Hi. Do they all have the same dialogue? I wonder. Or at least the same options, anyway. Good day to you. What do you need? Yeah. That's basically the same question. Hope everything is fine with you guys. Just uh. Go on, gonna go back to the granary, I suppose. I do have a quest. What's that for? So I need to get a horse, talk to Sir Robert, and bury your loved ones in Scalid. Uh, Scalid. So yeah, I, I'm probably gonna do that, even though uh, Sir Robert, uh, Sir, uh, the, the main guy, the Radricks, Radritz, yeah, told me not to. But there we go. So we sl slept for a little bit, but we're all now. We're now a little bit. I suppose we're a little bit uh, t rested. Excuse me, sir. Uh, sit next to the granary. A skinny fellow. Hey, you look remarkably like Fritz. But he's not Fritz. Uh, also, could get a horse. Hi, do you... I wonder if I could... Mountain Steel. Inspect. Oh. My horse. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's no horse. Yeah, so these are all Mountain Steel. Can I get this one? Hmm, I can't. This leads... I, I like that blue. Oh, I like... Oh, that is quite a beautiful thing for the horse. Uh, but that leads me to think that this horse can be hired. Uh, so where is the person that takes care of horses here? I really need to figure out how to pick locks. Hi, sir. See if he, he's going to tell me about that. I imagine not. But, you Good know. health to you. Oh, Nice. What do you think about that surprise during the night? I was surprised, all right. <laughs> I'm glad them people were saved, though. I'm just as glad it weren't Sigismund. For sure he'll come here in the end, too. But now at least we've got time to get ready for him. Maybe he'll leave Talmberg B. Maybe, maybe not. Could be he was only out to get Sir Radzik, because he's Wenceslas's hetman. And Scarlet's is a rich town. So there was plenty of loot for the taking. That's true. Two birds with one stone. So he might be satisfied and leave us alone. Reckon we'll see soon enough, one way or the other. Hmm. Indeed. By the way, Henry. 
It is Henry, ain't it? I was sorry to hear about your parents. They've gone on to better things. What? I'm not sure. I mean, religiously speaking, yes, but... They had a happy life. That, yeah. So Divish certainly put Sigismund in his place. <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> That's Sir Divish for you. May God grant him long life. Indeed. Indeed. Can you tell me where I can buy or sell something? Someone to do business with. Well, Votova often gets things the merchants don't have. The last time I saw him, he was by the granary. Try him. He thinks about trade day and night. By the granary, huh? Okay, well, I want to know where the granary is. Let's look at the granary. So you have the bakers, you have my bed, we have uh, Sir Robert, and we have uh, Combat Arena, and we have a trader over there. Look at that, not in the castle. Speaking of castle, let's, let's take a look at this thing. Have you seen these things? The detail on that is awesome. It's very, very pretty. Huh. I suppose it might be uncommon and just put there because that's the pretty part of town, pretty part of, of the castle. Yeah, but I don't, I don't really understand why. The, I mean, if they say that um, the other castle was hard to defend, then the other castle was hard to defend. And I don't, also don't know if these move, these maneuvers, these early, early game sort of story setups, are um, are the historical events. Can I get that axe? Because I can't. Because uh, they might be historical events. Hi, are you Vodva? No, nope, he's just a villager. Hi. Well, I suppose I'm not going to be able to tell. Hi, sir. Vodva. Good day to you. He's thinking. He's thinking of trading. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Well, that's not how it goes. Because I sell. Oh yeah, I sell. And I got cheese. Uh, do you do you like cheese, sir? Do you like all the things? Let's go in food. Uh, medical decoction. What's that for? Can I quest? Yeah, there it is. Within one minute, we'll cure amazing things. Okay, so let's. Uh, nourishment is good. So I suppose I um, roast duck. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm. Oh, I can sell many cheeses. Well, nobody nobody has has uh, as many friends as the men of many cheeses. So. There we go. I'm gonna get the roast duck for me, uh, and I do need some bread, cheese, and roast duck and bread. That's that's quite something. Uh, roast duck is is pretty expensive, but it's it's all it's oh the yeah. But I need to look at the condition, so I need to sell it while it's good. Uh, I get 16.2. Does he not have trading items for? Yeah. So I'm gonna not sell the cheeses or not all of them anyway. Huh? 14.7. What's that all about? Let's see. Huh. Yeah, 8.7. But why would it become red? It's still upping. Oh, because of the trader's wealth. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that makes sense. So I'll, I'll get the cheese back. Thank you. And I'll go into the basket and I will haggle. <laughs> And for that, we actually need to talk to the man and tell him... Can we haggle, please? Oh, do you need to load the... Let's coin? talk about the price. Yes. Why not? Ah, that's the spirit. And I think I'll be able to get... Uh, well, he doesn't... Yeah, the trader doesn't have enough money. I'll go with... Oh, he doesn't even have ten? Oh, he doesn't have more than that. I can go below. Okay, so I'll get like that right there. Satisfied? Hopefully he is. A nice sum. Just... Lower your demands a little, and we'll agree. That's pretty good. No, oh, that's not pretty good. Okay, but he's not very upset, so I can lower it a little over here. Satisfied? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Okay. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Yeah. Okay, getting money. I don't know how expensive the horse is going to be. But uh, I'm going to go... Oh, can I not go out? Sir. He's got a name in L. Good health to you. That business with Sigismund turned out well in the end, didn't it? Aye. That was a good start. 
Now we need to drive him and his war whores out of Bohemia for good. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Huh. Oh, man. Seriously? But let's, let's go with this one. Let me out, I say. Don't you know who I am? Someone is about to lose his teeth if he doesn't get lost quick. <laughs> I didn't mean to go with that. Oh, that was sort of a, yeah. Let's go with this one. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in a shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. That makes sense. Huh. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Good Maybe point. some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right. I'll have a look around for something. Mmm. Now that's good. Now that's good. Tomberg armor. That's what I need. But also, we're out of time for the day, so let's find more things for me to need next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Kingdom Come Deliverance. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.